it's such a lovely day out here and I feel so free. Madame, tout fait de haut. Rentre en dedans. Masse la côté, masse la. Welcome to prison in Mauritius. Kidding. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I came from London and I'm in Casuarina Hotel right now for 14 days. And I'm recording this video for Stranded Mauritians and for those who are interested in knowing about the quarantine period in Mauritius. A quick background before we dig into this. So Mauritius had its first case of coronavirus in March 2020 and since then it went into a strict lockdown. So strict that the airports are closed to this day and entry into this island is restricted. Even for its own residents who are stuck abroad with no information till now as to when the borders will open. And stranded citizens have to rely on special flights uh, and abide by all conditions whether they are ready for it or not and be mentally and financially prepared if they really want to come back. One of the conditions of arrival in Mauritius is to get tested as soon as you land and be quarantined for 14 days in hotels that have been closed and converted into quarantine centers. Following are the hotels that have opened their doors to us. The quarantine will be free of charge and I mentioned this here because when I was outside, when I was not here, I was getting mixed signals, sorry mixed signals, mixed information and Nupakone has been the most overused line of the year by those who are supposed to give us information. So yes, quarantine is free of charge for residents like us but the cruise members uh, are getting paid quarantine and their companies are paying for it and this video is about the details pertaining my stay in the quarantine as a guide to those who will be quarantined later as soon as you're done with the airport procedure your bags will be sent into the van and you will be given a water bottle and something to eat which you can take to the hotel with you then you get into the bus but you will have to wait before uh, because there are limited seats in the bus even inside the bus you'll have to wait because it won't start moving right away uh, will take at least about maybe two hours but you'll be sitting exhausted but sitting you will need a lot of patience at this time at this point and we were a total of 208 passengers in this flight out of which 108 came to Casuarina and the rest were sent to another hotel. The day of the arrival is not counted as day one of quarantine. The day after is when you can start counting it as day one of quarantine. All of us queued up at the entrance of the hotel, not at the airport, for the PCR test. Then we were to give some information to the workers from Ministry of Health and be assigned with a room number. Then wait for our bags uh, to you come from the van and then we are taken to the room. Each person gets one room and even if you're a couple you don't get to stay in one room you be in you can get it side by side or nearby but not the same room. Apparently the rule also applies to a couple with a baby so the baby gets to stay with the mother and the father gets a room near nearby. Mm, I think it like it doesn't make sense because these people have been traveling together in the plane, so I don't know why. What's the point of that? Plus, the there should be two people with a baby to take care of it, of him or her properly. Can't understand everything with these. Well. Make sure you guys get a, take a good shower and get some good rest because this is going to happen a lot more often.
finally I get to drink my tea. Let me show you the room now. So there are my stuff in this room already, but this is how generally it is. Like there's a wardrobe, super deep. The bathroom, up switches outside. Yeah, I found this pretty dirty. I yeah. And it's pretty dirty. Yep. And even the. I'm to open that. That. Get this one. Look at that. I haven't even used it yet. And. Table. Uh, yes, the spoon was outside, and we just had. I just had the uh, cup. If it's clean enough, yeah. Cup. Just had the cup and a and a tea kettle. TV. And you get a mini fridge and the which was empty. And here's the bed. No blanket on it there are some blankets on the indoor cupboard so that's why i'm not too sure to use them or not that's the other one it's messy because i slept on it and that will be or no and we have a balcony too sorry forgot about the balcony oops Needed a little bit of cleaning, which I did. So you get one document, which is a protocol uh, from the Ministry of uh, Health and Wellness for quarantine centers. There will be one document for us. One protocol for cleaning the room. There will be a form with the dietary preference. It will tell you about the breakfast, lunch and dinner time. And if you have any allergies or any uh, preference, if you want regular vegetarian, diabetic diet or if you have yeah, like any allergies, any issues. So you specify, sign, put a date and give. Yeah. So you'll also be given an undertaking form which you have to fill. It has a list um, of things in the room like you have to fill it perhaps so the person who will come to check the room is supposed to fill it but I got one which already had some items there so it includes a kettle, your AC remote, some the lamps and the security deposit and those kind of stuff but do make sure you check that before you sign because not all the items that are in the list will be in your room and if you take responsibility for that you will have to pay them if anything is damaged or missing so yeah be on the safe side and make sure you don't steal anything or break anything and you'll also be given a cleaning kit Yep, a box would have been better. This looks like Santa Claus's gift bag. But I do tell you. 
Anyhow, so inside this, you will find some toilet papers, bin liners, so you have to put all your uh, rubbish in there and put it outside your room every day. Uh, the, the workers will come and collect it. Hand wash, sorry, hand sanitizer, not hand wash. I would say that it was a bit more soapy and it's not really a good hand wash. Um, yeah, it's more slippery and it doesn't really evaporate. So, but that's, that's one. Yeah, oh my god, I can just go inside it. So, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste. Did I show that? Yeah, toothpaste. There will be a, a washing powder for your laundry, which I'm already using. Then there is a septic cleaner for the toilet. Oh, there's a cotton face, ma face mask which actually looks like someone's underwear no thanks I I'm not going to do that but they also give you uh, the disposable one they are definitely better than this <laughs> some gloves kitchen gloves I had my own so I was using those uh, to wash dishes mainly and to do some cleaning there is no kitchen here so I use the bathroom thing as the kitchen thing we also have a kitchen roll kitchen roll and so there was a big ugly toothbrush too, which I can find, but luckily I brought my own toothbrush so I don't have to use it. You also get a mop, which the stick is already there in the room, but you get the lower part and you get two bars of soap. That will be all. Yeah. The nursing officers will come to visit us three times a day for breakfast, lunch and dinner sometimes more than three times at, in the morning and at night when they come to hand over the breakfast and dinner uh, they will also test your temperature regularly and this will go on till the last day here and it's not Moselle Hospital you see we have been receiving food from Beach Comba Hotel and in good quantity and they keep on changing the menu sometimes there's chicken there's octopus lamb fish so they kept on changing the menu and uh, quantity was also enough. Sometimes it was too much that I didn't know what to do with it. We will see that all the rooms are not well equipped. Sometimes we need something, some grass, some food, something, some shower, some towel. Then we can arrange it from the family. Uh, we can tell so the family or any relative to bring the items but some items are not allowed such as cigarettes, alcoholic drinks, homemade food are not allowed you're also not allowed to go out and interact with people oh but you can however you can't really lock your door uh, like you won't be given the key or anything so you can't really close the door uh, properly when you go out smart move very smart so on the seventh day of our arrival there will be a PCR test done and if uh, there is one single positive test result then everybody gets to stay for seven more days and there will be another uh, test done on the 14th day and if all is good then we will be we, the next day will be our last day, that is the 15th day, we can all go home. Yay! Or is it? 
the staff from the Ministry of Health has been really kind, caring and had, they've been constantly checking up on us, making sure we are okay and everything is all right. If we need something in the room or, you know, they've been really, really nice. My sentiment, enfin, mon, on vit ces visites encore. Parce que mon trouvement, mon trouvement happy quand on dit mon happy. Quand on veut servir un dit mon lit en souriant, mais moi, on défend mon petit souriant. It was a good experience working with flight uh, passengers. It was a good opportunity coming here in the quarantine center to help them, to serve them. And I personally am very grateful for their time, service and dedication. So if you're watching, I want you to know that you are appreciated. And most of us are here from a very... Uh, not so healthy mental space like we came from that kind of a situation and you guys being there for us meant a lot so thank you so 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 much so I think I've done my part and I hope that the authorities and people in power try to give information at least give us clear information and precise information as much as possible like we've had enough of this enough it's not our problem that's just <laughs> let's not go there if you agree with me and my efforts to make your life easier by giving as much information as i could do do support this video do like it and share it so that uh, I can make more like these and someone else watching could also feel encouraged to share their experience as well. My next video will consist of personal quarantine pros and cons and also there will be some tips and hacks to make your stay here comfortable and I will also advise you to watch that just in case you might forget something to bring something here and it can help you be better prepared equipped for your stay so if ever you have any uh, questions uh, you want me to address something uh, do let me know in the comments below and i will try to cover it in the next video and yes do press the bell button so that you get notification for the next content and that will be all uh, see you in my next video then